Hey everyone, it's Nathan Firth with another great tutorial from ServicePortal.io. This week, I'll be showing you how to construct a GraphQL query to fetch data from ServiceNow, and then I'll show you a simple way to use GraphQL inside of a Service Portal widget. As always, if you find this video useful, please don't hesitate to like and subscribe to stay up to date with our latest videos and tutorials. Let's get started. So the first question is, what is GraphQL and why should I use it? GraphQL is a query language used to request data over an API. The big advantage of using GraphQL over a REST API is typically performance, because you only get back the data that you request and you can query data from multiple tables from inside a single request. So the first thing we'll need to do is download GraphQL. I've posted the download link in the comments below. Once installed, you'll want to open up the tool and start by entering the URL to your instance, followed by API slash now slash GraphQL. Second, we'll need to add the HTTP headers for authentication. For basic auth, you would use authorization for the name and basic followed by your base64 encoded credentials for the value. Next, you'll notice that the Documentation Explorer is not displaying the schema. This is because you have to enable a system property called glide.graphql.introspection enabled. Now, unfortunately, it requires main to access to enable this property, so you'll need to request this from ServiceNow. You can still use GraphQL without this property turned on, but you won't have access to the schema documentation or auto-completion. So for our first query, I've started here with a really simple example fetching data from the incident table, where active is true. In this case, we're only returning the number, but we can also quickly add in the short description as well. Now, for reference fields, such as caller ID, we have access to the whole user object by wrapping it with underscore reference. And finally, in order to keep our queries concise, we can use fragments to create a reusable set of fields, and then we can call the fragment using dot 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 and the fragment name. So now that we've constructed a query, let's take a quick look at how you can use this from within a service portal widget. To make this easy, I've already constructed it in an example widget where we can simply paste the query in via instance options. And now, when I click Get Data, we can see the response come back from the API. I'll include the example query, this widget, and the source code available in the post below. So there you have it. That's a quick overview of GraphQL in ServiceNow. Please don't hesitate to leave comments below, and if you find this content useful, please make sure to subscribe to my newsletter to stay up to date with our latest posts and tutorials. And until next time, I'm Nathan Firth, and thank you so much for watching.